<clears throat> hey, it's uh, Dean Allen here. And as every week I'm making this video um, so that, you know, I tune in and I feel what kind of energies are going to show up in the week coming so that, that we kind of can prepare ourselves, be ahead, you know, of the game, whatever is going to show up. Talking about games, I'm using, and this is new to me, a tarot, tarot ground. So, so I've, I've started to suddenly, you know how I normally just read? And there are days that I find it hard to read and I just can't get there. I'm thinking, oh, I, I should go back to cards, but I've never really studied them. I've always been just pure intuition, pure intuition. Yeah, and I said lately, I've, I've been more like, no, I also wanna learn more about it. So I'm always studying. <laughs> Didn't I spread um, before started this? And I used a book, like I'm really studying. It's called Advanced Tarot from Paul Fenton Smith. It's an amazing book. Why is it time? Um, so that's what I'm studying. And I, I always have something. I don't know what you guys are studying at the moment when you go like, oh yeah, I'm interested in that. Let's go and study. So starting with the week, it started with an upside down of once, um, which means like um, you would have problems to focus and you're attempting too many things at one time. And that is, I have that as well. Like I'm always studying a lot of things and doing a lot of things within my business as well. And it's easy to lose focus when you, you, you are a bit so. Um, it means that you could also lose confidence when that's upside down. You might go like, ah, I don't know. I. I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I was going on the right path, but things have changed. I lose a bit of confidence. That's in the beginning of, of, of you know, the week. And then towards midweek, um, what I saw was that you are looking for fresh ideas and possibilities and that you, um, yeah, that you want to look into new possibilities. You, you, You've, you've done things a certain way and you think, oh, it never worked. And how can I find new possibilities to go ahead? And going ahead, you want to combine your, your heart and your um, brain. So it's a combination of both because sometimes we just go ahead and it's pure emotion, pure emotion, that doesn't work. When it's pure mind, pure mind, that doesn't work. So you're trying to find these this beautiful combination where you have your emotions and your, your intellect working together, where you feel the, the inspiration coming and go like, yes, now how am I gonna put this practically in the world? How am I gonna use this into the world? Uh, when we go later to the week, I also see that you might um, have some irrational fears about going ahead and have nightmares about it, bad sleep, or very intense. Um, other things that are still hidden, if you wanna go forward, are there still hidden agendas? Um, so what is needed mostly is to reconnect to your inner self, to do the fulfillment and to nourish yourself. We often forget that. Um, as I said, I, I I nourish my mind by studying things, but I also nourish myself by meditating, by journaling, by um, having a massage, um, spend time in the pool, things like that. You know, just um, find that that balance. And um, another thing that came up as well was that you might have a fear of making a wrong decision. This is a two of ones upside down. And um, yeah, so you you feel torn, and that comes in with the chariot, so it's a, a torn in both directions. Just take your time, don't hurry. Stop fearing that there, there is, um, that the change is going to impact you in the wrong way. Start to trust again. Um, start to really go, no, I know what is going to happen for me is the right thing. I do feel at the moment this, this push and pull. 
Um, I'm not sure what the way forward is going to be. We don't get that full view, but I want you to stay focused on one thing, one thing only. You say, okay, this is what I can focus on. And that can be something different for all of us. And then work on that. One of the things that I use is called Focus Booster. And it's quite easy. It's a little app on my laptop. And if I'm, for example, the next 25 minutes, I'm going to write, I put that in and then it's writing. Or if I say, no, I need to, you know, uh, reconciliate in, within my accountancy program for my company, I'll do only bookkeeping for this 25 minutes. And um, these are now two different goals. But let's say you're going to make one specific thing that you know that it's going to bring that step forward that is needed most. Sit in the beginning of the week with meditation, nourish yourself, really go, go deep and say, okay, this is, this is what my heart is telling me and this is what I know I can handle because we often overestimate what we can do in a week and we underestimate what we can do in 12 weeks you know you, you have to find that that balance or or even in a day just go what can i do today and then just focus on today um, i even have days that i indeed focus on certain things mondays for me are always the money days it's the invoicing it's the reconciliation you know um Thursdays are the days I make the video for the coming week coming up. Thursday's video day or anything that is um, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I work with clients occasionally also with Fridays, but mostly Tuesday, Wednesdays are the days I focus on client work. So find within you what which day are you going to focus on what and uh, on what and then use focus booster or just your phone, put it on 25 minutes concentrated take a five ten minute break into another 25 minutes but don't do anything else we we are too easily distracted turn off notifications and things that pop up on screen i think that that's what i wanted to say for this week um yeah so problems to focus how how you can deal with it and how you can start trusting that you can combine anything that comes in and these emotions that you have and and these new ideas that you think this is not possible this is for me a way forward and then combine that okay with practicality how am i going to put this into the world what is needed for me anything else that needs to come true yeah oh have an amazing week um don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos on youtube there's a hit the subscribe button subscribe uh, if you're watching this on youtube i always i also will post this on instagram um i'm also on pinterest you can follow me on pinterest if you want me to do a personal um clairvoyant reading with you i can see what is happening in people there or us like there's little videos that that stick all around you whether you know it or not um, and you want to know certain things that, that seem to be in a blind spot for yourself, I can help you with that and bring that out. Wishing you an amazing week forward and talk to you next week. Bye for now.